We are at the Park Hyatt Hada here in the Maldives. We've had a beautiful three days here and we can't wait to tell you everything you need to know before you book. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. We're Voyager Guru. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video and you find the content useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps our videos get more exposure and produce more videos just like this. All right, let's jump right into our review. Our first category is location. Location we rate five stars. Hadaha is located in the southern part of the Maldives in Gafu Alifu Atoll. This is honestly one of the most beautiful islands we've ever seen. What makes this location so amazing is that this island is actually quite small and it's surrounded entirely by a reef that drops off into the deep. And so you have this incredibly stark contrast between crystal blue water, beautiful reef, and then the deep blue ocean right outside, but you're still within the atoll. So the water is relatively calm and particularly on the non-wind side, the water is crystal blue, super beautiful. And this area is known for its marine life and it's diving, it's snorkeling. If you come here, that is one of the things to come here for. It is so beautiful. And honestly, one of the places in the Maldives that we've seen the most marine life, some of those beautiful coral and Unfortunately, during our three days here, we didn't get to dive, but we did get to go on a snorkeling excursion, which we'll talk about more in facilities. This island is completely natural and it is incredibly lush. And it is so small that you can walk around the entire island in just 10 minutes. The foliage is so grown in and all of the villas, especially on the beach, are very private to the outside. There's this lush foliage that envelops the entire villa and it's just absolutely beautiful. One of the amazing things about this island is the white sand. The sand here is so soft that it almost squeaks when you're walking and it meets up with this perfect teal water. And during our stay, the water was very clear in our opinion, but according to the hotel, it can get even more crystal clear. It is just absolutely beautiful. I'm not a big snorkeler, but even I was able to snorkel right off the jetty into the deep water that meets up with that incredible teal water. At sunset, the sand almost turns pink. It's so white. It is just absolutely beautiful. The location here is incredibly secluded. You are looking at some islands off in the distance, but you don't have the same boating traffic or plane traffic that you have at some other hotels. It makes for an incredibly relaxing experience here at the Park Hyatt. Our second category is lobby and check-in. Lobby and check-in we rate four and a half stars. If you followed some of our other videos, you'll know from the Maldives that lobby and check-in actually starts at the airport when you first arrive off the flight in Malé. While we transferred from another hotel, we've come to this atoll a number of times. When you land in the Malé airport, you're greeted by the Park Hyatt representative and taken straight to the domestic terminal to check in for your flight. This is a domestic flight and it does take about one hour to reach the local airport, Kudu Airport. Once you're at Kudu Airport, you're picked up by a Park Hyatt representative taken to a boat and taken on a quick 30 minute ride to the hotel. In our case, we were transferring from another hotel and the ride was a little bit bumpy. Some days the water can be much flatter, but on our transfer day, the seas were a little bit rough, so it's best to be prepared in advance. On the boat, we were greeted with a welcome drink, a cold towel, and from that perspective, it was an amazing experience. When we got to the jetty here, we were greeted by some of the management on property with an incredible welcome drink that I honestly wish we could have had again. It was so beautifully presented and so delicious as well as an additional cold towel and a really nice greeting by our butler. From there, we were taken to a private in-villa check-in and that was a really, really quick and beautiful experience. There is no true lobby at this hotel. So when we talk about lobby and check-in, we're really talking more about that service experience of arriving on the island. We were in full contact with our butler throughout our stay and that's really your main point of contact here. So there's no actual need to ever go to a lobby. Once we're in the room, she gave us a quick room tour, which brings us to our third category, which is rooms. Rooms were rate four and a half stars. This resort only has 52 rooms, starting with beach villas all the way up through their overwater residence. Today, we're in one of their premier categories, which is the deluxe beach pool villa. This room is absolutely stunning and there's only four of them on property. If you are booking on Hyatt points, you will be booking a beach villa and potentially upgrading to a beach villa with a pool depending on your status. This deluxe beach pool villa is not included in those upgrades, but they do offer cash upgrades before arrival. That being said, all of the rooms are very much the same on the inside. It's really just the exterior that changes each room type. When you walk towards the villa, you're greeted by incredible architecture. The style of these rooms is so unique. A lot of hotels have gone the direction of 
having a very standard type of room, but this is not it. It is absolutely beautiful. The ornate door welcomes you to a beautiful room with an incredible view of the lagoon. The room is huge, and while it is one room, it's not a suite style room with a separate living room. You have so much space to relax with a beautiful chair overlooking the lagoon, a gorgeous king bed in the center facing that view directly, as well as a mini bar and a desk on the side. There are so many windows around the room and all you can look at is the lagoon and that gorgeous sloped ceiling above you. One of my favorite parts of any Maldives room is of course the bathroom. The bathroom here is entirely enclosed, which is a great experience, particularly on the beach with some bugs. However, it feels as though you are outside. The entire back wall is completely glassed in and you have a his and hers vanity, an interior shower, interior toilet room, as well as an incredible outdoor shower and bathtub. If you wanna take that shower outside, you certainly can, and that's absolutely what we do at every hotel. The exterior of the room might surpass my love of bathrooms. Our patio space was incredible. There aren't that many rooms on this property that have such an ocean front setting, but this is one of them. Villas two and Villa six in this room type category, the absolute premier rooms on the beach. This room is one of my absolute favorites in the Maldives to this point. We did have the chance to tour an overwater pool villa. So if you are considering a beach villa versus an overwater villa, there are some key differences. If you are looking to swim in the ocean throughout your stay from your villa, I would probably recommend a beach villa. However, the overwater villas are absolutely gorgeous. There is nothing that can compare to having that 270 degree view of the water from your room. The pools are a bit smaller. They are like a small plunge pool in the overwater villas as well, but otherwise the amenities and the room are very much the same. Each room is really a work of art. There are these beautiful, almost Frank Lloyd Wright inspired contemporary modern architecture where they have these incredible cantilevers and supported posts and perfectly glass corners. The glass in these rooms is maintained and is crystal clear. So you can look out of all of the windows across all of your rooms, whether you're in the water villa or in the beach villa. Both of them have views in all directions and floor to ceiling windows. It's quite, quite stunning. There's also tons of beautiful natural wood complemented by beautiful accent lighting in the ceiling and across the entire room, both in the bathroom and in the main room. They have preset settings for nighttime and evening reading light where you have high modes and low modes, and the lighting just really, really pops in this room. The technology in this room is a little bit outdated, and though they do have some pretty cool things, including the ability to be able to hook up to Bluetooth speakers and connect to the TV and the music in your room, as well as some master switch capability, it doesn't quite turn off everything. They do actually use traditional keys to open these villas. It, it is a little bit inconvenient, particularly for a beach resort. When you leave the room, it is something that you have to find something to do with that key. If you go, say, swimming or snorkeling, paddle boarding, going around the island. And so it would be a really nice touch to just introduce some electronic key cards or even better yet, some type of silicon bracelet. As with all Parakayats, they feature Layla Bow amenities, which we absolutely love. Their mini bar is complimentary on full board plans as well. So that does include all non-alcoholic beverages like sparkling water, sodas, and some of the snacks in the mini bar. All inclusive plans do include the alcohol as well inside the mini bar. Now, all these rooms are beautiful. They do need a slight bit of maintenance. They are slightly dated and particularly, I think the ones that are over water do tend to get a little bit more of the brunt of weather and wear and tear. And so those in particular do need a little bit more maintenance than some of the other rooms that we saw. But in general, the architecture is so beautiful and so stunning that I think that's really what's appreciated here on this property, how well it blends into the natural environment and how cohesive everything is across property. Our fourth category is service. Service, we rate four stars. Overall, the service here has been excellent. It has been laid back. It has been luxury and it really feels like a relaxing luxury vacation. So many of the service staff here are young and really eager to please. Whilst they still are a little bit green, it does seem like they have curated a pretty good staff here that are excited about hospitality and looking to provide great service experiences. In general, we did feel that the quality of the service across property was a little bit hit or miss. There were often things at restaurants that were forgotten. Housekeeping, I think, was probably their weakest point. The housekeeping attendance both in the morning and in the evening for turndown did seem to miss things from time to time. So it seems like they're going through some training processes and there's a little less attention to detail outside of some of the checklisted items. They do have a lot of programs in place that have the potential to be great. Like they provide these amazing nightly gifts that are sweet treats that are bite-sized that come with a card that 
explain something about the Maldivian culture and what that sweet treat is and how that ties into that culture. We love those programs and we really believe that with the training that's going on right now, the service can be that five-star level in no time. One area of service I do want to highlight is their dive and activity center. Typically, we've found that that's usually the weakest point of service on any property. And yet at this property, there was so much enthusiasm from the dive masters there, the instructors, all of the various attendants that were helping us, whether it was fitting your mask and your snorkels, explaining you about the reef and the island, the marine biology that is home to their house reef here. There was just so much more care in the service that was offered there than we've seen at other hotels, where particularly that department does usually seem to be a bit more jaded. Lastly, every room does receive a butler. It is a shared butler across multiple rooms, and that is a great experience. You can WhatsApp your butler at any time for requests or things you need, and they're in charge of managing your schedule, if you have one, of reservations, spa treatments, and more. Our butler was great. We didn't really need to utilize any buggy services on such a small island, but they can be to your villa in just a few quick minutes because the island is so small and quaint. We had some great interactions with staff across property, particularly with regards to food and beverage, which brings us to our fifth category, dining. Dining very four and a half stars. This property has five restaurants. The dining room is their main restaurant on property and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And overall, the quality of the food was great. The breakfast is a small buffet supplemented by an a la carte menu, so you can pick and choose whatever you would like from there. They offer incredibly fresh smoothies and juices, as well as a number of favorites like omelets and steak and eggs, all with a little bit of a luxury twist. The bar is located next to the restaurant and does serve lunch and dinner as well, they have more snack style cuisine as well as a full bar. The third option is the Island Grill. This is their signature restaurant and features some elevated cuisine such as seafood, steaks, and more. There are a number of items that are not available on the meal plan at the Island Grill. However, you do receive a discount if you do purchase those items. They do also offer two additional restaurants. There's Koi and the Chef's Garden Treehouse. We were not able to try those this time. They are small group seating as well as the private dining experience in the treehouse and they do look incredible. Now, while those two options do look incredible, they are priced quite high and not always available. The same goes for the Island Grill, which is not always open. And because of that, there are actually a pretty limited number of available dining options on property. We did hear the chef talking to a group that was gonna be here for a longer stay and offered that he could make them anything that they wanted outside of the menu. So there is flexibility there if that is a concern for you. But in general, we found the dining to be really fabulous. We were also invited to a special seafood market, which is their little island buffet on certain evenings of the week, and it was excellent. They serve delicious food like lobster and tuna straight from the ocean here, as well as Wagyu steak and a number of incredible dishes. It's a really cool format. You get to walk up to the chef, pick out what you want, and he'll cook it on demand the way that you like. We absolutely loved that toes in the sand dining. It was beautifully well lit and you're overlooking the overwater jetty. And that was probably my favorite dining experience of our trip so far. I think it definitely was. That setup on the beach in the white sand, sunset, it was so perfect and something that you usually have to pay for a private dining experience in order to have. But even the island grill was actually toes in the sand, which we found so fabulous. A full dining room of sand and we found in general across this property, no matter where you went, it wasn't really a dress code or enforcement of having to have shoes and we pretty much went barefoot the entire three days. We absolutely loved having such laid back dining experiences that were still super elevated. The food was beautifully presented, absolutely excellent. And we were able to dine in what we were comfortable in, which in our case in the Maldives is usually no shoes. All of the menus have a variety of options regardless of the type of cuisine you're looking for. The dining room in particular does have additional options like Asian cuisine and Western cuisine, as well as a big focus on Maldivian cuisine. In general, we found that the chefs really took a lot of care with each of their dishes. The presentation was really elegant. The flavor profile was complex and not quickly thrown together. In general, the food across all of the different establishments had that same consistency, which we thought was great. Another cool thing here are the beverages. We were on a full board package, and so we did have access to all non-alcoholic beverages for free. So we tried a few more mocktails than we usually would, and they were delicious. 
Most of them were closer to health juice type drinks with a lot of different flavors such as turmeric, mango, lychee, mixes of greens, root juices, fruit juices, all kinds of different mixes where you could get both sweet drinks as well as some dry, almost cocktail-like drinks. One thing that was fabulous on this property were the desserts. The pastries are incredibly well put together. I think every dessert we had, fabulously made. Just the consistency, the taste, not overly sweet, not overly sized either, really delicate portions, and it was the perfect way to finish every night. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities were rated four and a half stars. For such a small resort, they really have tremendous access to a lot of great features on property. Their spa is absolutely incredible and does feature a large pool that all guests can access regardless of if they have a spa treatment. We were able to indulge in a beautiful signature massage and the treatment was fabulous, as was the experience of the spa itself. The gym is located right next to the spa and is a great feature of this property. It is incredibly well designed, floor to ceiling windows, beautiful glass looking out. You feel like you're in a terrarium almost. The equipment kind of goes along with a lot of the theme and the style of this property. The gym has beautiful, almost vintage equipment, and it is pretty well appointed with both cables as well as a lot of weights, a lot of cardio machines, but it would be nice to see them update some of the amenities in the gym to be slightly more modern. There is a big, beautiful main pool right off the beach, and that is at the central point of the property located next to the dining room and the bar. They offer full beach service, including complimentary water, and it's a beautiful place to hang out. While we've been here, the occupancy has been fairly low, around 30%, and we didn't even see anyone in the pool. That is a great place to go if you're looking for some sun, particularly if you don't have a beach villa with a pool. One of the best facilities of this property, as we mentioned earlier, is the water sports and dive center. Because this island has such a pristine reef that wraps the entire 360 degrees around the island, they have an incredible amount of marine life here and a real focus on marine biology, conservation of the house reef and exploration of the surrounding islands. They have a really passionate team that's focused on getting guests out into the water, exploring the marine life. And I think if you're a passionate scuba diver, this is a great resort to come to. There are so many areas around this asshole that you can explore where you're gonna see some of the best diving that you've had in your marine life here and really thriving coral ecosystems that are actually bouncing back from previous bleaching events. And if you've followed our channel a lot, you know that we love diving. And still to this day, one of the best places we've dove is in the Maldives. And this is one of the three atolls that we usually recommend for people interested in marine life. Lastly, they do feature some great activities on property. They offer a daily meditation class, yoga multiple times a week, and they do offer complimentary kayaks and paddle boards on property. Our seventh and final category is style. Style we rate five stars. This property is beautiful. It looks like a James Bond island with its contemporary architecture and incredible lush foliage. This property is on the older side, but has been maintained so beautifully and features such an incredible laid back luxury experience, no matter where you are on the property. There's an incredibly relaxing feeling to this property. If you could just describe this property with one word, I would say it's chill. It has that vibe. It just kind of has the essence of being relaxed, helping you unwind. And I think because guests are very spread out and they have so few rooms and yet so much actual property space that people can find their own locations, their own seclusion, it gives off this essence of relaxation. The architecture itself is really a marvel. As we mentioned in rooms, these incredibly beautiful villas with floor to ceiling windows and glass corners that allow you to have an incredible panoramic view outside your window. That same architecture is consistent throughout the property, whether it's the gorgeous gym that they have set amongst the trees, the beautiful inland pool by the spa, or the seaside pool out by the ocean and by the main dining area. The bar has swinging chairs, pillows, and across property they have this real pop of color, but it's all very subtle and it complements the beautiful wood accents and natural colors of the island. Overall, we rate this property 4.6 stars. We have had an incredible three days here. I only wish we could stay longer. If you're considering booking this property, whether it's on points or in cash, don't hesitate to do it, particularly if you're interested in marine life. We have had such an incredible time. And of course, if you don't already, make sure to go check out our website where we have reviews of all of the different hotels that we've stayed at in the Maldives, as well as hotels around the world. And of course, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe. We're coming out with many more videos from here in the Maldives and other locations around the world. And if you follow us on Instagram already, you will have seen our entire stay play out in our stories.
stories. So if you don't already, be sure to follow us at Voyager Guru. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. See you out there. Ha <laughs> ha.